So, in case you're wondering, I'm wearing this band-aid because when you braid a lot, just like musicians who play the guitar, nail technicians, you start to bruise the side of your finger. So just to protect my finger, I'm, I have this band-aid on. It is no fun. So I'm gonna start off with showing you exactly how to do butterfly locks. So I'm gonna start off by taking, we're just, this is not a video to show you necessarily the full and final product, but it's a how-to video on how to do these butterfly locks. So let's just say we have our extensions, right? Expressions, free trust, whatever you like. I'm gonna take a little bit of this braiding product and I'm just choosing this because I want to be able to grip the hair. I'm going to braid this into the hair. So this is my section that I've already carved out that I want, this nice little triangle situation going on here. I'm gonna take the loop and I'm going to bring it around. So we have a little T thing going on here, T. Now I'm going to loop the hair around my client's natural hair, my lovely mannequin, and I'm just going to braid. This is not a perfect video. We're not trying to be perfect here. We're just trying to learn technique. Once you learn technique, you will master the memory in the finger and your work will improve itself on its own. So if you notice, I did not go too tight at the roots. There's a little bit of movement here, which is awesome because what we wanna do is we wanna be able to bring the braiding hair through to grip the hair. So I'm just gonna step away for one quick second. I'm gonna grab my lovely, lovely, lovely crochet needle. And I'm going to take, now I have this brand it's free twist braid. It's um like a nice wavy pattern. And I like this hair. It doesn't have to be this brand in particular. It could be any brand that you choose or feel like. Let me just get this out of the pack so I can get it perfect. And you notice it is looped around a cord. So I'm gonna take this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my beautiful scissors to cut this off. This is no fun. But you know what? It keeps the braids neat and it keeps it secure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut that thread off. I'm going to take one section of the hair. So we have the hair and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to separate that in half. So just like that, I want to take my time and separate it. And then I'm going to do a big pull just to separate the two together. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and braid this braid out just a little more it doesn't have to be perfect we just want something to anchor the hair so we have like in this case my mannequin's hair is really long because her hair is really long you can automatically wrap it around her hair but if your client doesn't have long hair you can go ahead and use the braiding hair which is excellent for this circumstance and then we can go ahead and wrap it around. So let me just tighten the grip of these band-aids. I'm gonna take one section of the hair that I sectioned off. I'm gonna smoothen it out just so we're a little organized. I'm gonna take the loop of my handy dandy crochet needle and I'm gonna pull it through. So because we have enough room, I'm gonna take the center and loop that and I'm going to put it in the loop lock it in the loop i'm going to secure the loop by locking down that little silver flap and i'm gonna pull the hair through see that nice and easy i'm gonna take that off so you just lift the little lock hair or that little door let's just call it that for right now and i'm gonna take the ends of the hair and i'm going to pull it through i'm going to lock it in and voila a nice secure root very nice and secure now i want to add in this other hair instead of going in the direction that i went in before horizontally now i'm gonna go vertically i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna lock in that hair so sometimes it's good to smooth out the hair if you have to do a little twist just to make sure that it nicely fits within the loop and then i'm gonna close and lock lock it down if you can see that and I'm gonna pull the hair through. So again, we have that nice security. Once we have that, we're gonna take the loop and in the loop, we're going to pull the hair through, the loose ends through. And we're gonna secure that and loop it in.
this does not have to be perfect guys it doesn't have to be perfect we just want to know the technique now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to wrap around the hair just like that i'm going to put my thumb and i'm going to wrap my thumb around i'm going to keep my thumb there and i'm going to now release my thumb i'm going to hold the back so i have that nice flexibility right there and now i'm going to tightly wrap around the hair again i'm going to tightly wrap around the hair it doesn't have to be clean it doesn't have to be perfect at all just wrapping around so i want to flatten out the hair a little bit so that it covers a broader surface of the hair so again I'm wrapping i'm wrapping and then i'm gonna put my finger and i'm going to go around just like that i'm holding it like my finger at the back is securing the back just so that it doesn't tighten and then i'm going around it doesn't have to be perfect it could be nice and clean nice and clean hold it there if you have to hold it and then secure it by tightening the bottom part you do whatever floats your boat and you pull you do a nice little pull just so it's more secure than the butterfly section so we want this loose we want this a little tighter see that it does not have to be perfect now depending on the hair you can get a really nice natural rusty rustic you know textured look if you want it smooth it really just depends on the hair that you get there's free trust brands water wave they have a lot of brands i know even um expressions should have you know you, you just try what floats your boat just like that so now the extra hair that i have here i keep wrapping wrap you wrap you wrap wrap can feather it out a little bit so it's more rustic you wrap kind of creates more texture so let's say now we're at the bottom right so we're not going to get to the bottom in this video but let's say we're at the bottom so let's pretend this is the bottom we're at the bottom we're at the bottom now you have this hair remaining now you're going to go in and go upwards so instead of wrapping around downwards you're going to spiral upwards just to secure that lock and what you can do at this point is you just wrap you wrap because I find that this hair is a little softer, there's two options. One option is that you can take secure, uh, um, sorry, crazy glue. And this one is actually not working, but I'm just gonna show you. And you take the end of the hair and you just put a section of the crazy glue, right it here, and then you secure it. Another thing that you can do is just wrap it until it's no longer there and then you want to do a nice little rub just like that or what you can do is um use a lighter and take your time and just light the hair nice and firm just so it's solid i'm going to quickly run step out and grab the lighter and show you that technique Here's my lighter. So, we, so the, some will have these lighters, some will have the regular ones, like if you're gonna smoke or whatever. Um, it really doesn't matter, you just need a flame. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So let's say, for example, this is the end of the hair. I'm gonna take my lovely lighter and I'm just going to lightly, lightly the surface. I'm not going to keep it there too long. I'm just going to lightly, just so it seals it. And then what you can do is you can take that same lighter and just kind of seal everything. Not too much because you don't want it to melt the hair. And then rub. So this is the final result. This is just a technique. I hope you guys learned a lot.